Hi Libra, here's a general look at your solar chart for December 2009 and I think there's this real feeling of progress that you're becoming more aware of this potential, this progress. Maybe you be, you've been waiting to do something for a long time, maybe something's been kind of hanging fire and, and, and you've had a cherished hope or a dream, you know, an aspiration and, and there's a feeling of this now, be just beginning the great wheels on this bigger cycle of kind of moving forwards, that will be because you've got Mars in this area of your chart, well among other things, Mars is really going to help you, Mars is the kind of, you know, it lights the touch paper, so you're going to have Mars around until next June. So in the very beginning of that cycle in December, which is a super sociable time, fantastic time for gossip and chit chat and uh, correspondence and networking and promotion and publicity and, and just mixing and mingling with all manner of people, whether it's for business reason, reasons or for personal reasons. So obviously given the time of the year, you know. But over the first three and a half weeks, um, there's going to be lots of ideas and lots of this kind of uh, you um, enjoying good company, uh, lot, lots of that and being very influenced maybe um, to think in a different way because of, you know, the people you cross paths with. So an interesting time. Now, until the 26th, your most soci sociable face is turned to the world. Uh, gatherings are favorably highlighted. Um, and also a love interest. You could be, you know, not very far from home. In fact, it could be in your home. Um, and this is a new one uh, or a relatively new one. So it could be that you meet this person at a local place or in an event or you are with this person um, attending um, or with no sorry with this person in the home or in fact having conversation with this person in the home but she or he is at a distance so you'd be doing that over the phone or over the net I guess so definitely this uh, a romantic connection not too far from home for for those of you who are, who are in the market for that Generally, though, I think you're going to be in this benevolent mood, feeling positive and outgoing and uh, really enjoying the contacts you're making. It's a very sort of extrovert energy. Uh, when Mars moves, that's just um, um, after the fifth, then there will be the more heartfelt uh, discussions going on, more heartfelt thinking going on. That'll be a time from the fifth onwards for you to, to have these sort of uh, more... Um, um, deeper conversations uh, with people, maybe loved ones in your life. Um, maybe the emotional side of communications will be coming out uh, and you will be maybe the peacemaker and you're so very good at doing that, Libra. Um, the diplomat, you know, the persuader, the negotiator, in fact, the piggy in the middle. <laughs> that is your, you know, the archetypal meaning of Libra is that you can balance you can balance different energies around. So, but definitely uh, from the fifth onwards, a time for more heartfelt passion coming out verbally. Also, not just verbally, you know, it can be through music, can be through any kind of media, very good time for artistic work. Um, <clears throat> Libra over the, um, this time now, in fact, over the whole of the month, but particularly in the first uh, three and a half weeks and uh, communications of all kinds. So you're really getting under the skin of the communication and maybe talking more deeply with somebody about something and that's after the fifth. So you're getting more serious about uh, that but also you're getting more serious about your direction in life, particularly Librans born in the first four or five days uh, which is going to be in the last week of uh, September. Uh, uh, you won't be wanting to put up any more with whatever's standing in your way. You want to clear the decks because you want to move forwards. Uh, so uh, you will be taking stock, I think, at the moment, and you'll be taking a long, hard look at yourself um, and asking yourself some questions, asking yourself what you need to do, what improvements you need to make, what personal interests you need to develop, maybe, to find out who you really are or in fact to inhabit who you really are if you already have a pretty good idea who you really are. Um, it's a long-term aspect this though so whatever is close to your heart uh, Libra will need steady, patient, persevering, 
progress for it to kind of you know bl uh, blossom really uh, over many months and this might be um, as I say your personal interest but it can also be something that you're working on um, like a relationship or something you're trying to bring to fruition on another level it could be financial it could be to do with business um, it could be all of them so now is the time for you to be reprioritizing shaking things up and um, deconstructing so that you can re reconstruct in a step by step manner and taking responsibility more responsibility for your aims yourself and who you may be what you may be there could be some conflict between uh, this heartfelt urge of yours to realize yourself and you know old commitments old ways of being uh, people have gotten used to seeing you in a certain light in a certain role old attitudes will come up to test you now could be you know um manifesting through uh, an authority figure a parent a boss um, such challenges will trigger the need for you to deal with these inner imbalances it can be quite emotional as well again i'm looking at this over um, uh, a long term sort of uh, t uh, a long time frame not just in december because i think in december you know you um particularly in the first three and a half weeks you, it's going to be a, a quite a light um, energy where you will be feeling quite optimistic but uh, there is this other aspect here where you're getting more serious particularly Librans in the first uh, uh, part of the sign where you would be wanting to put your house in order now for all of you coordinating group efforts or or being within some some kind of group uh, which is working towards a common end. Th this looks like it's uh, quite important and it's strongly uh, spotlighted. So networking, teamwork, that'll be key to success uh, both now and in the future. Perhaps you're becoming involved in a good cause. Perhaps it's a humanitarian cause, a spiritual cause, bringing out that side of your nature, bringing out also the reformist unconventional side of your nature bringing out the side of your nature which is innovative which may be connected to technology that's another way it can work um, but to, uh, collaborating with 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 a team in some way um, yes and you might find yourself in the driving seat because you will be very very keen to initiate to push forwards uh, maybe you are pushing forwards on the level of getting people on side you know kind of waving the waving the flag and beating the drum it could be like that working hard for yourself or on behalf of a group of like-minded people or both uh, so the spotlight um, will be on that and also um, some of you could discover a new talent uh, or a romantic liaison uh, which feels almost fated however just let me say there's a tendency that you're looking at things through rose tinted spectacles at the moment so um, really you know to, for something to last you need to see the real deal warts and all so realism is needed in this area of life appearances can be deceptive if, if it's if it's a one night stand then there's there's you know no sweat no problem but if it's something that you know if you've got in your mind it could be longer term then don't even consider it until we get into January um, deciding I mean <laughs> um, uh, just be experimental and quite light with it until we get into January if it's something new in your life now the eclipse well that's um, uh, that heralds change are related to your home base some of you could be uh, reorganizing things at home or even relocating over these next several weeks as we get into the new year and that could affect your professional routines your professional activities as well well that's it for uh, December if you know your rising sign have a listen to that too